Thank you for joining us. I'm Erin Gregg, joined by our production team of Lubbock ISD TV students, and we're excited to share how Lubbock ISD focuses on every child every day. Teachers across our district are utilizing technology to continue to provide our students with unique experiences. At Dupree Elementary, students took part in a virtual visit with an award-winning author. Let's watch. We want to welcome author Matt De La Pena, and thank you so much for joining us. Becky Kohler is in her first year as the librarian for Dupree Elementary. And when she started, she knew she wanted to connect her students with De La Pena. I've read his work in the past couple of years, especially last stop on Market Street. And he's just, I think he relates to our students. He wrote stuff about his childhood and like how he is mixed and has like different experiences with both sides of his family. And I have those two. Fifth grader Berlin Richardson says she relates to De La Pena and enjoyed getting to speak with him in real time. Going up there and ask him a question and uh, hear him talk about what I asked. I was not expecting it to be like real time. I thought it was going to be like pre recorded or something. To have them realize he is a real person, he has their experiences and the questions they asked and just getting to see them interact with him on a personal level as well was great. My favorite part was when he showed pictures of him when he was a baby because he was really chubby and um, I, just, I just really liked them. Along with learning about his life, students also enjoyed hearing De La Pena read one of his books with them. Because he pointed out details I would have never even thought about or even looked at. Kohler says providing these types of experiences are important for students, especially this year when guests on campus are limited. They're very important because they need somebody they can connect with, they can be encouraged. He was very encouraging to the students, so we still need to try in any way possible to provide those opportunities for our students. Our superintendent, Dr. Kathy Rollo, is our guest in studio today. Dr. Rollo, thank you so much for joining us. You are so welcome. Thank for you. For our last episode of the fall <laughs> semester, and we're so excited to have you here because we wanted to hear from you about your reflection on making it to the halfway point of the school year. I mean, it is just, it's been a bit of a marathon, but I am so incredibly proud of Lubbock ISD our teachers, our students, our parents, um, everyone, because it, it's been challenging. But at the same time, we are the largest district that started school when we said we were going to on time, August 17th. And we have managed to put safety protocols into place that have um, done very well at helping keep everyone safe. Um, our case counts are going down and we're pleased with that. Um, it's important for kids to be in school. And so to have that sense of normalcy in a crazy world right now, I think is, is something that brings me great joy. And I, I hope it brings our students and our teachers and, and everyone involved joy as well. Well, and speaking of um, bringing joy, I know that as you've been out and traveled around during the semester, you have some stories. <laughs> I'd love to know maybe what one, of your, one or two of your favorite experiences have been that you've seen as people have adapted to this environment. Well, I, I did have one, um, first grader at one school who came up and I know we're not supposed to hug and the child knew that she was not supposed to hug but she grabbed me my, grabbed me around my waist and said thank you for opening school I love being at school um, and then I think going to some of our new additions um, was really powerful to see actually students interacting in these new spaces that we were able to build um, while we were out of school since March um, you know, it's just, it's just so wonderful to see how much our teachers um, really love their kids and care about their kids and um, watching them interact with them is just a blessing every day. What are some of the things you're looking forward to most or sort of your vision for um, 2021 for the spring semester? Well, I'm, I really am excited that um, we have a vaccine and I think that will alleviate some fear. We have more students coming back to us after Christmas um, who have been in virtual learning and so that's very, very exciting. Um, I'm really looking forward to um, the spring normal events, although I know they may not look like they always have. Um, they may look a little different, but the spring always brings so much um, excitement as students compete in different things. and, and um, showcase their learning that they've had throughout the year. So yes, just excited about the rest of this school year and, and um, really, really proud that we've made it this far. 
And then just finally, what are your plans for the holiday break? <laughs> Um, well, I am so excited, Erin, because I have three grown sons, all who are Lubbock ISD graduates, and two of them have been living in Austin and working in Austin, and one of them is married, and they have all moved back to Lubbock in recent days. And so I have all three of my sons and my beautiful daughter-in-law are all now Lubbockites, and so I am really looking forward to just spending time with them and enjoying them and um, resting. <laughs> That sounds like a wonderful break. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for spending a few minutes with us on Highlights, just talking a little bit about how our school year's gone, and we just can't believe that I know. we're already here in December. It's hard to believe. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Erin. <laughs> Take Five Oil Change recently donated $30,000 to our Foundation for Excellence. Elizabeth Sewell shares more about how they raised the money. Every year we typically do a fundraiser for Children's Hospital. Here in Lubbock, we wanted to do something that would impact the local community more. So Take 5 partnered with Lubbock ISD. They offered customers a chance to win a free oil change by donating to our district's Foundation for Excellence. Which um, allows for teachers and students to apply for grant monies for innovative learning projects. And um, if there's ever been a time where this money is, is needed, it is this year during the pandemic. Take Five set a goal of $20,000 for the fundraiser, but thanks to generous community support, they surpassed that goal, raising $30,000. So for us, it's not necessarily just an oil change, right? We want to be able to provide a service for everybody that comes in. And with you know our employee development, we want to make sure that that's something that they know that we strive to do, not just service your car but make you smile at the same time we're able to do that with helping out this next generation thrive with you know campaigns like this well i know it's a cliche but we say it takes the village to educate the child and that is so extremely true and um, we rely on our community partners in so many ways and could not do the work we do without them many many students in our district will benefit from this money so thank you take five we appreciate you greatly and marciante says they plan to continue supporting our community take five is super happy to be a part of the love community uh, we absolutely love being here we're going to be better every single day we've made some changes recently as well to try to you know better suit the community's uh, requests if you will uh, and with that being said you know we're just going to keep rocking and rolling thank you elizabeth if you would like to become one of our partners just log on to lubbockisd.org pi or you can contact phyllis directly with the information on your screen now let's go on location with ben lawson Aaron, we're on location at Dunbar Preparatory Academy, where the community has really stepped up to help students celebrate academic accomplishments. So we have a monthly competition, our class does, and the class that gets the most growth in reading each month gets a prize. So since it's Christmas, I wanted to get the kids stockings. I'd heard some kids talking and passing about how they hadn't had a stocking. And so um, I put an ad on Trading Up on Facebook where you can say in search of something. And I just wanted to buy a bunch of different stockings because they all have different personalities. And people just started saying that they would donate them. I didn't ask for that, but it felt just, it made me feel really happy. So. All the stockings were donated. Um, people started asking, what do you want to stuff the stockings with? They gave chips and candy. So um, I really ended up not having to buy very much. And the kids are just super excited. They're just really excited to get it. Was it surprising to you that the community did this so quickly? Or It really was because I thought, well, the way that it works on Trading Up is you go and pick the things up. And I thought, I'm going to need um, a week to go pick up all the different stockings. And then people just immediately started saying, I've got three stockings you can have. I've got some stockings that I'll bring to you. And then, you know, people started messaging me. It was just really quick. It, it was heartwarming, it really was. It just, it makes me feel really happy inside because it's, it's kind of dark sometimes right now and um, it's easy to lose sight of, you know, what we're here for and these guys are what we're here for. So I'm so glad that, that we were able to get the community involved and we were able to get some, some help in. Um, these guys are super stoked about it. So you guys are happy with it? Yep. What would you What would you guys like to say to the folks who donated? Thank you. Uh, thank you. Very much. Yep. Thank, thank you. you. 
We appreciate it. And as you can tell, the students were very happy with their stockings. We'll send it back to you. Thanks, Ben. All of our campuses had fun during the last week of school before break. Devin Ward shares some of the highlights from our campus social media pages. At Monterey High School, the Madrigals spread holiday cheer by caroling through the halls. Talkington School for Young Women Leaders gave a special thank you to Durham bus drivers. The high school choir caroled during the afternoon pickup to thank cafeteria, maintenance, and custodial staff for their hard work. National Honor Society students at Lubbock High provided special gifts. Students in Miss Fontana's culinary class at Estacada High School made gingerbread houses for the holidays, and it was a special moment for the members of the Coronado Choir. They became the first ensemble to perform at the Buddy Holly Hall. At our elementary campuses, students and staff also got into the spirit. Check out this mass decorating contest at Wright. The Christmas tree at Whiteside is a favorite tradition. Each year, students create an ornament that ties in with a theme. This year's ornaments are truly sweet. Positive Pete the Elf made his way to Wheelock Elementary, where students enjoyed fighting him each day. And at Stewart Elementary, a pair of elves perched on the roof to keep an eye on the tigers. Pre-K students at Smith Elementary enjoyed getting down to the gingerbread man dance. While over at Roberts Elementary, the Grinch stopped by with some green treats for the staff. Team building took on a different meeting at Ramirez Elementary, where gingerbread construction also took center stage. And at Parsons Elementary, staff had fun with an ugly holiday sweater day. At Majin, staff dressed up as elves to celebrate the season. Harwell students shared the holiday spirit with a series of songs on their Facebook page. And Irvin Elementary staff brought the Christmas cheer with holiday hats. A special gift for Dupree Elementary students, they teamed up with the Leaders Readers Network to give new books to all the dolphins, complete with encouraging words provided by Monterey High School students. Make sure to follow your child's campus on social media to see more great stories and to keep up with the latest news, events, and more, follow Lubbock ISD on your favorite platform. We're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Just search for Lubbock ISD. Thanks, Devin. Right now, our students and staff are joining the winter holiday break. Staff returns from the break on Monday, January 4th, and will welcome our students back on Wednesday, January 6th. Looking ahead, we also want to remind our families that we will not have school on Monday, January 18th in honor of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Remember, you can keep track of our holidays, events, news, and more with the Lubbock ISD app. It's free and easy to download. Just search for Lubbock ISD in the App Store or Google Play. Thank you for joining us today. We hope you have a happy and safe holiday, and we'll be back in the new year to share more great opportunities only in Lubbock ISD. This has been a production of the students and staff at Lubbock ISD TV.